on my way to town. I need to do some grocery shopping. Pick up a few things for the trail manor. Um, <clears throat> oh, my fingers. They're doing better. I don't know if you can see that. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. They look worse than they feel. But anyway... So I'm headed to town, like I said, got a few things to pick up. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and uh, that's pretty much about it. I never did get, um, let me show you, I never did get the trail manor washed. My back and my stomach, I just haven't felt good enough to get out here and do it, but I know I've got to do it before I take off next month. My uh, my daughter should be here, I'm going to guess around the 18th of June, and soon after that, I'll be taken off. So I'm going to head to Merced. I'll bring you along in case anything interesting happens. Headed into town, well I'm leaving the town I live in, headed into Merced try and see if this camera will stay put this is I'll show you that's Main Street is the town I live in Oops. that's it about two blocks worth gas station turn in your recycling and propane right there so yeah that oops that's town like I said, don't blink when you go through it. You'll miss it. All right, let me set this back down. Well, I'm headed to Merced, like I told you. A and bit I ago. tried to put my camera up on the dash. And at the time, I thought my windshield was pretty clean. <laughs> Until it started sprinkling. I don't know if you can see that or not. But my windshield is filthy. And I know I don't have any water in... Um, what is it the windshield wop, wash, windshield wiper tank stuff? So I don't dare try to turn the windshield wipers on. So I'm not too far from Merced. So I figure once I get there, I'll pull off into the gas station and <clears throat> wash the windshield off. Looks like somebody's headed somewhere fun. Oh, there's my brother, I think. Might be. Anyway. So I'm probably about eh, five five miles from town. Yeah, lots of those are almonds. Those over there are walnuts. Lots of little canals for irrigation. Anyway, I'm gonna keep driving. I'll bring you back when I get to town. Well, I just got to town. There's something going on somewhere. There's fire trucks and the ambulance is going around. Anyway, I got here. I'm going to get my windshield washed and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I went to Walmart and did what I needed to do there. I'll show you what I got when I get home. And I'm back at Target to try one last time to get the last thing I want. So I'll go in and may or may not show you, but either way you'll see when I get home or on my way home. Hello. Let me get a light on in here. Made it home and couldn't buy what I wanted at Walmart or at Target because the guy didn't show up to work until 11 o'clock for one thing, which I guess was his scheduled time, but really 11? Anyway, um, and then he couldn't give me the discount that I could have got if I bought it online. What I wanted to buy was a new phone, the Samsung, Samsung 10. So I wanted to get the Samsung 10, 10 plus I think it is. but. Like I said, I couldn't get the discount, so I came home and I just ordered it. When it gets here, I'll unpack it, 
and I'll bring you along. Anyway, what I did get while I was in town, <clears throat> I'm so excited. I did get a couple of things while I was in town that I wanted to show you. Um, this, which is for cold drinks, a titanium rainbow tumbler drinks, um, sodas or a glass of wine. Wait, I think they were four bucks. I'm not sure, but there's the inside. And the outside's pretty, and then it's got the lid. So I got two of those for the trailer, and then I got a coffee cup. I got two of them. Not that I'm expecting two people, but um, eight hours. It keeps things hot for eight hours and keeps things cold for 18 hours maintains your drink's temperature. So, there's that. Anyway, it's metal inside, and it also has a little top. So I'm going to run those through the dishwasher, and, yeah, adult sippy cups. <laughs> and I got a couple of pizzas that I'll put in the freezer. And I guess that's it for the exciting stuff. Picked up a bunch of spices um, that are in these spice bottles. In, because I've got the clip-ons that go on the cabinet door in there, and I'm hoping these are the right size. If they're not, then I guess I'll be putting my spices in a shoebox container or something. Anyway, um, that's about it. You know, so, oh, and I got a candle. It smells, I think I got two candles. Did I get two candles? I don't remember. Maybe not. Maybe I just got the one. Anyway, it's, uh, it's uh, a vanilla scent. Anyway, it smelled really good, so I'll put that in the trailer, too, just for grins. Then I went by Papa Murphy's, and I picked up two family-sized pizzas. And what I do is, I know it's a lot for one person, but what I do is I come home, and I use my kitchen scissors, and I cut them in the, the pot pizza in quarters, and I freeze three of those pieces and eat one. So I've got dinner in there for four, five, seven nights plus tonight. So that works out good. I have a visitor. There's my Leo. There's my new Neo. Stubborn thing. He won't look. Anyway, let me let the kitty in. Hi, Leo. You coming in? Come on, come on, scaredy cat. Come on, Neil. Come and say hi. Come here. Come here, Leo, kitty mouth. Leo. Uh. Come here. Not going to do it. He'll come in on his own time. He's a stubborn cat. So anyway, yeah, here's the pizza. I got half of one cook, or a quarter of one cooking for my lunch slash dinner since it's 2 p.m. now. Anywho, so yep, that's about it. I guess I could turn off a few lights and save some electricity, huh? Well, come on. Anywho, so that's it. Um, my new phone should be here, I think it's at five to seven days. I just did it on the free shipping. There's no hurry. And the reason I decided to get a new phone was because the one I've got, <clears throat> it's a Motorola 4G. Um, it's been a really good phone for four years, five years. Come on, Neil. Um, but I keep running out of storage space on it, and it's got a glitch in it that even with the new updates, it just, so I figured, you know, I think my husband, I think four, he spent four, five years on. ago. So I'm pretty sure I got my money's worth out of it. Um, if nothing else, I'll have a backup phone for something taking pictures maybe I don't know if I have to have service to take pictures on my phone anyway so I'm gonna fix myself a Dr. Pepper take two Tylenol because my back is killing me 
and visit with Kitty for a little bit, and I'll come back later. Okay, well, I thought I was going to come back later while I was saying goodbye to you. Um, anyway, thought I was going to say goodbye to you, but the alarm's going off, so apparently my pizza's done. So I'm going to run and get that, and I'll be right back. Papa Murphy's Pizza. I think it's Papa Murphy's. Yeah. Um, they make it right there for you when you order it. And you bring it home and you cook it. And I like that because it gives me the option to um, do, like I said, cut it in quarters and freeze part of it. And when I cook them when they're frozen, I just pull them out of the Ziploc bag. That's what I freeze them in. And let them sit out for about 15 minutes to thaw out a tiny bit. Come here. And pop them in the oven. Uh, what is it? 425 for 18 minutes. And they're good. They're really good. Okay, I'm going to get this cut. Like I said, take a couple of Tylenol, go sit down and rest for a little bit. And I'll be, be back later. Thanks. I forgot to tell you, um, Papa Murphy's also had this herb. I don't know if you can see it or not. Herb and cheese blend. So I picked that up and I just took a bite of the pizza and boy was it good. And then the kind of pizza I always get is a, um, I got a cowboy pizza, a family size, not the large. And I got a meat lover, Papa Murphy's Meat Lovers. So anyway, that's just what I always get. Plus I got this new stuff. And it's pretty good. I'm gonna go eat.